Welcome to your monthly update on the COVID Inst UK study. My name's Adrian Martineau. I'm based at Queen Mary University of London, where I'm the chief investigator of the study. And with me today is a face who many of you will recognise, Hayley Holt, who uh, was instrumental in starting up COVID Inst UK. And since getting her PhD, she's moved on to research uh, COVID-19 and she's going to tell us about a new project she's working on. Hayley. Thanks, Adrian. It's really good to be back. And today I'm going to be talking about a new research opportunity that some of you may be interested in. It's called the BOLD study, which stands for Biomarkers of Long COVID. And this is on the behalf of Sana Genetics, which some of you may remember from the gold study that I know many of you have participated in previously. So um, first, let's just touch on why is this study being done? So the study is intended to identify patients with long COVID and those who have recently recovered from a COVID-19 infection and collect biological samples to help researchers better understand if long COVID is associated with persistent SARS-CoV-2 activation and or chronic immune activation. So this really is to identify potential biomarkers that may correlate with long COVID severity and symptoms, which may be used to inform future treatment options for long COVID. And I've already touched a couple of times on the word biomarker, so I just want to give you a little bit more information about what I mean by that. So a biomarker or a biological marker is a measurable biological substance or characteristic um, that provides information about a biological state, condition or process often used in medical diagnoses and in research. So you may be familiar with some of these already from routine doctor's appointments like body temperature or blood pressure, but ones that we'll be looking at in this study may be gene expressions within cells or proteins within the blood. So what does this study involve? What will we be asking from you? I'm just going to give a brief overview about what the study process looks like. So initially, you'll conduct a pre-screening survey at sunogenetics.com. After you are deemed eligible for the study, you will then be passed on to provide e-consent with Richmond Pharmacology. There are partners in this and they'll be helping you set up for the site visits that will be taking place a little bit farther down the line. So after you've given your consent to partake in the study, you'll be booked in for your study visit one. At this time, you will be asked to give blood, which will include a DNA sample, provide stool samples, a nasal fluid sample, You'll give questionnaire responses just about your experience with long COVID thus far and um, participant medical history. Four months after your study visit one appointment, you will have your study visit two appointment. And at this visit, you will again give blood, stool samples and nasal fluid samples. And it's really important to note that both study visit one and study visit two are located in London. So it's imperative that you're willing and able to travel in for these study visit appointments. Now to touch on who may be eligible to take part in this study. We've got two cohorts of eligibility. The first being participants who have long COVID, which I'll touch on now. And the second cohort is those who have recently recovered from a COVID-19 infection. So, First of all, with the long COVID group, you'll be eligible for this study if you're aged between 18 and 80 years old, if you have a documented or self-reported case of COVID-19. Now, this could be with a PCR or a lateral flow. If you've been diagnosed with long COVID by a healthcare professional or you yourself have self-reported long COVID symptoms for at least eight weeks, and if you reside in the UK and are willing and able to travel to London. Unfortunately, you'll not be able for this study if you haven't had COVID for at least eight weeks. However, if you're in that camp, you still can take part in the pre-screening survey and we'll recontact you once you've hit that eight week mark to see if you're still experiencing symptoms and still would like to take part in the study. And also, if you've been diagnosed with either of these two diseases, which do have similar symptoms to long COVID, you won't be um, eligible to take part in the study, unfortunately, and those are being fibromyalgia or ME-CSF. And lastly, if you're not fully vaccinated against COVID-19, you won't be able to take part. Now, that's not a study specific requirement, that is a facility specific requirement, meaning anybody who goes into the research site 
needs to be double vaccinated against COVID-19 to be in the research center just to make sure that we're safely following all of the guidelines um, that that facility has set out. Now to touch on the eligibility, eligibility requirements from those of you who may have recently recovered from a COVID-19 infection. So you will be suitable for this study, again, if you're aged 18 to 80, if you have a documented or self-reported positive COVID test, again, PCR or lateral flow is fine. At least eight weeks before your study visit one appointment, you must no longer be experiencing COVID symptoms and reside in the UK and being willing to travel into London. You'll not be eligible for this study if you've recovered from COVID-19 less than eight weeks ago. And similarly, if you're in that camp, you still can take part in the pre-screening survey and we'll reach back out to you once you've hit that eight week mark. And if you are experiencing, if you're experiencing long COVID symptoms, you won't be eligible for this cohort, but you still may be eligible for the previous one. And similarly, if you're not fully vaccinated, you won't be able to take part in this study. Now, just to touch on what are the benefits of taking part? First of all, you'll be reimbursed 85 pounds per person per study visit for a total of 170 pounds for your time and travel expenses. And I think it's, you know, really important to be able to take part in research like this into long COVID. Hopefully the answers from this will allow us to get a better understanding of the correlation between clinical, genetic and physical symptoms of long COVID and contribute to the development of future treatment options. It's super easy to see if you're eligible to take part in the study. It's just five minutes. If you're interested, the link to the study will be in the video description below. Um, and you can reach out to us at any time if you have more questions about this presentation or just want more information about the study at info at Thanks for your time. Great. Thanks very much, Hayley. Um, so can I just ask, what is it that this study will answer that other studies into long COVID aren't investigating? Sure. So this study is looking at a specific set of biomarkers that have been identified by researchers that that may have a link to some potential treatment options that they want to investigate further. So it really is just the, a very beginning stage. This is an in, in a, a, you know, investigational study. We don't exactly know what the set is, but they think that they have a good idea of some potential biomarkers that may shine a light on how we could actually start develop, developing some treatments in the future. So it's, it's, there's not a specific treatment that's linked to this at this time, but they have a good idea about where they could take this information. Great, thanks very much. And just to clarify for our participants, this study is quite independent of Covidence UK. You should right. feel under no pressure whatsoever to participate or to sign up if you don't wish to. We're simply providing this information as uh, Sanogenetics has previously been a trusted partner of Covidence UK. And I think there's a general feeling that both the commercial sector and the academic sector want to work together to improve uh, outcomes for people with long COVID. So that's why we've covered this study in the webinar today. But I want to highlight again that this is by no means compulsory uh, and it's an independent study from Covidence. But if you want to find out more, the link is below the video. So uh, just to close out, thank you very much, Hayley, for telling us about your new work. And thanks to everyone in the study for continuing to fill our questionnaires and I look forward to seeing you next month. Goodbye.